Hi guys, welcome to another great video tutorial session. Today I'm gonna give you a most important topic that everyone would like. Everyone would like to learn test automation and how we can learn test automation in the smart way. So everyone through WhatsApp group Global Tech WhatsApp group group 1 and 2 they are asking the common most demanded question that is how to learn test automation they want to learn test automation and they need guidance on what areas to cover what areas to know what is what should be the attitude and behavior of a person who's going to learn test automation so with my experience I'm going to tell you how we can learn test automation in smart way so this will be a series of video sessions so this is the first video session that you guys are going through so let's start with it guys before you start test automation attitude matters people should have process the right attitude to learn test automation if you try to learn test automation for the sake of learning for the sake of getting popular or for the sake of just having the skill to get the job that won't do so you it should be from your heart guys so some people say that I want to start test automation it's just words for some people they say that they want to start test automation because it's one of the demanding areas in the industry today in the test industry so don't put don't just say in words that you want to learn test automation put the words into action that's what is important first of all to learn test automation to be a successful test automation professional you have to have a good self pride to learn things you have to keep on learning this learning for test automation never stops until you retire from the profession you have to learn new technologies you have to learn new languages scripting languages you have to learn new frameworks you have to learn new integrations lot of things if you want to be an awesome test professional in automation self motivation is the main thing if you are not self motivated you cannot proceed you should have a good attitude of motivation good energy to learn cell test automation and the other important thing is you have to be research oriented you have to think novel ideas you have to go beyond your boundaries you have to push forward so you have to research on new areas new integrations new frameworks new tools look at what advantages these tools gives what are the limitations you should be able to evaluate them talk to the professionals talk to the experts get their advice just don't lie idle attitude to read new blogs articles don't just waste your time read as much as you can gain the knowledge having these attitudes right attitudes you can start learning test automation and start your first steps try to learn a uh, programming language or scripting language first try with one don't learn multiple things java is a great language so start with java then move into dot net move into python move into ruby 
move into JavaScript. These are the upcoming or test automation programming languages. Start with Java. Then try to learn the concept of the language, the basic structure, how to write a basic program. Then look at the loops and control statements. These are very, very useful. Methods and functions, how to use them. Object-oriented concepts, polymorphism, inheritance, overloading, overriding. Learn about these guys. And you also know about file handling concepts, how to hang handle exceptions, triggering in your programming code. Learn new things and also to learn best coding standards. Go through some documentation, go through some articles on the internet and also Try to create programming code with optimum efficiency. Second step, start your foundation with Selenium web driver. Read about Selenium from Selenium HQ, Selenium blogs. Learn what it, the language does, what kind of browsers does it support, what kind of operating systems that is support. What can this particular tool can do? What are the tools that had it will be what are the tools bundled with Selenium Web Driver? Next start with the first web driver script. Do not use IDEs, do not reduce recording tools. Page elements of a web form cover how you are handling radio buttons checkboxes drop downs drag and drop events and how you can handle downloading of files how you can handle open file open dialog boxes save dialog boxes look at auto it robot class in java to handle these non-web UI components. Look at page object models to promote reusability rather than writing the same old actions in all the test scenarios. Reuse them. Make common actions, make common functions, common modules. Page object model, page factory model helps us. Try to use page factory model which is much more ex efficient and effective. Then look at the Java POI, Apache POI. To import data from Excel sheets, export data to Excel sheets. You have to use configuration as you might run your scripts in multiple environments. So data should be configurable. Use of TestNG to control test execution. To mention preconditioned scripts. Post condition scripts, how to control your test automation, set priorities, look at test ng, then look at the use of Ma Maven, which will help you to utilize multiple libraries, make your test automation framework much more portable. Then look at use of frames, alert, JavaScript handling. Because these are come, these learnings come in handy when you are doing real-time automation. So the best sites, tutorial point, or Guru ninety nine. So you can look at Guru ninety nine. First, go to the Guru ninety nine Java tutorial, which will allow you to learn Java within seven days start with introduction to java what about java vm then how to download and install java first java program then the data abstractions and oop concepts in encapsulation inheritance and polymorphism variable handling array handling 
and string handling. All these topics will come in handy to learn test automation in Selenium. Next move into Selenium tutorial. Read the introduction to Selenium. Don't miss it. Omit IDE and Firebug. When you design XPath, try to do it in Notepad. Don't use any add-on tools. Sometimes the generated XPath will be not accurate. It will make your script fail. Create, look at the guide to install Selenium WebDriver. Creating first test script. How you can import the libraries of Selenium WebDriver. Look at how we can create our first test script. Try to use this code, understand it. So this is a basic web driver scripting that you should go through. Next you should go through accessing form components. Because you might handle a lot of web forms in your automation. Go through this, you can see how each page element will be handled with the Selenium WebDriver code in Java. Next, look at how you handle select option drop downs and accessing links and tables. Keyboard and mouse events, how to simulate keyboard and mouse events. This chapter will cover all. Look at that also guys. Then look at how you handle upload and download with wget and with auto it and java robot classes then look at poi apache how you import data from an excel file and output or write data to an excel file Everything is here. This is very important chapter. You must also go through the page object model to promote reusability. What is page object model? With coding examples and what is a page factory model? What are the advantages does it give? Read this chapter guys. Then look at how we can integrate Maven and Jenkins to promote extendability how we can use Maven and to promote CI how we can use Jenkins how to set up Jenkins go through a tutorial set up Jenkins on your machine and set up the Selenium WebDriver continuous integration project in your Jenkins instance So learn about TestNG. So these are the important areas that you should learn when you are learning Selenium. That is your second step. Third step, after learning test automation through WebDriver in Java, you guys have to develop a framework. Reusability should not have the same login function in all the test cases. Try to reuse from one place. Use page object model, page factory model to promote reusability. Configuration use Apache. If you are going to use your script, execute it in a non UI environment which doesn't have Microsoft Office. Try to learn how you can handle normal text files, JSON files, CSV files, and Java property files. Look at reporting structures, extend report. Allo report, Bigo report, which we are covering in other recordings. Reportability should be there in detail level so that a manual tester can report bugs when there is a failure by looking at the execution report. Extendability Selenium does not give you web services testing, Selenium doesn't give you mobile testing, Selenium doesn't give you security testing, Selenium doesn't give you
mobile testing so you guys have to learn how to extend using maven in a java environment scalability your project should be your test automation should be implemented across the projects in the organization viability is a new concept key element in your framework your automation framework should be viable do not bring projects or automation frameworks which are not viable in your organization it should be realistic effective and efficient so after coming up with the framework fourth step looking at the integrations going further look at how we can implement jenkins continuous integration put your automation framework your test suite automation suite into jenkins and run it continuously night builds everything and try to look at test link the test manager integration zephyr try to find document and try to implement these things try to connect to dashboard tools like jira apis and also pdf verifications by downloading apache pdf box these are the first round of learnings that you will have to do so good luck with your journey on learning test automation i wish you all the best if you like this video please put a like on the linkedin post thank you we'll meet with another training video on how to learn test automation